good morning everyone or good afternoon either way welcome back to another vlog here on the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world and watching this video but today is currently saturday and it's 11 22 a.m and i have a lot of work i have to do today because i need to just get my life back in order and if you don't remember and you don't watch my streams i did a back-to-back charity event one for hope for haiti in april and then literally another one in may for saint jude and i'm telling you when you're planning events for like charity or just generally anything it is very exhausting if you're like doing it back to back for a month long thing and i've been trying to kind of wind down and not stream as much for this month just because i want to take a time to breathe relax, you know, do other things besides sit at my computer for hours in a day. But nonetheless, I feel grateful to be able to have time to spend with my parents, hang out with you all on stream, and just have a platform where we can just, you know, be ourselves. And I thank you all for watching my videos, whether it's the vlogs, or my string vods on YouTube or my regular Sims videos that I've been doing for the past like decade or even my streams. I don't know. All the content that you all can you all watch and consume. I really appreciate you all just taking the time out of your day to just watch them because honestly you don't have to, but the fact that you all do makes me very happy and I appreciate you all allowing me to just do what I do. If it wasn't for you all watching my videos or anything at all or supporting me, I probably would not be in this position. So I wanted to let you all know that I am very, very grateful for that. But anywho, I have a lot of work I have to do. I need to one, fold my laundry that's sitting on my couch right now. As you can see, the laundry over here is just a bunch of towels I have to put away and fold, which is not that much. And then I'm gonna have to pack all of my stuff in my backpack and then drive all the way over to my parents' house, which is like 10 to 15 minutes away, which is not that far. The most even said we can only have one. No, I can put it on. You put it on my profile? Maybe. Oh, you were recording the attic. <laughs>
you know, years ago. This was the last, the last little crack of that door, and it was hard to close. I actually got to be idea with, I don't know how you did that. If that was me, like, I would have renewed just for the sake of pushing off those feelings. And it's easy to do that. I mean, that's why I got the apartment in the first place. When I sold the house, I, I should have, no, I shouldn't say that I should have just, like, closed the chapter then because I was not ready. And I wanted to be ready, and I was in a position to get an apartment and then get to a point where I felt ready you know, before closing that chapter. Anyways, reading that comment, I was like, yes. And I'm sure to a lot of you watching, that was, this is like obvious. This is an obvious reason why I was feeling sad. But sometimes like, you just need to read it from another point of view to have that perspective, you know? And then Meg's comment was another one where I was like, wow. So she says, here's how- So it's been a couple of days since I've last picked up the camera and I'm pretty sure the last thing you all saw was me at my parents' house setting up a new gaming setup office in my old office. And if you remember my old office, it was once blue, then changed to yellow, and then changed to gray with hardwood floors. And in that room, I had another computer, I had another monitor, and I wanted to give my parents a space that they could call their own, even though it is their own house, but a space where they can go to away from their own computers or away from their own like workspace. Um, and they love playing video games like I do, but not to the extent what I do every day, but they like playing video games like Bejeweled and Star Trek and Fortnite and all the other stuff. So I wanted to give them a computer that had all that stuff already on it and it made perfect sense. And especially whenever I'm over there, I can use that computer to like edit vlogs or other YouTube videos or even record videos that I want to record, which is kind of nice. And also stream there if I so please. So. It's kind of like a win-win in a way for me, my parents, and just overall we're just like a family who loves making content in different mediums, whether it's like blog posting or consulting or video conferencing or making videos or streaming, whatever it might be. We're all content creators in our own natural way, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Now, I remember doing some type of project that I was working on on my iPad, and I didn't get a chance to show you because somehow I just forgot to explain what I was doing. Nonetheless, this one project I was working on was a, like, a 404, like, not found page for a ramen restaurant, and I made, like, the ramen bowl as, like, a shape of it, like an O, and then I also made it as a logo. But I really like this though. I mean, honestly, the ramen doesn't look too bad. I spent about three, three and a half hours on it in the span of like a couple of days because I'm always discombobulated and always trying to do something new. Now, if you remember my coloring book that I launched back in like September, like not September, like December, January-ish, I made like my own coloring book, which if you all don't know, I will link it down below. There's about, I think, 20 some odd pages that I illustrated myself. And I got super inspired to make another one. And I didn't realize how many like coloring pages drafts I had before my first one. I had like about 30, like in grand total. And I used like, the majority of those pages for the first one. And then going through my iPad and my other like things on my other computer, basically what I was saying is I had a lot of you know, draft coloring pages that I could use for the second one. And I did not know how many I had, and I'm glad that I did. But I'm currently making one right now that I thought was pretty nice. It was actually the very first coloring page that I made, but didn't make into the final one. But essentially this is like, you can't really see it. But essentially it's like a classroom setting of like three students at their desk, in their classroom, and stuff like that. Now, it's not fully done. The concept is still there. I have to refine it and like make it a little bit better, change out a few things, add a few things. But I don't want to make it too complicated where you're spending so much time on it and you're frustrated of like, how am I going to color all these lines in? So I want to make sure it's fun, exciting, easy, but also a little bit challenging at times where it's like not the highest degree level, but it's the more like medium, easy like easy ish good morning everyone it's the next day it is saturday june 24th and it is what i call blazing messy hot outside it is 90 degrees in my car but it feels like 102 outside 
and that's not pleasant. But today is a new day and I'm on my way to the bank because my parents told me that there is like a shredding event where you can like drop off your papers that can get shredded, you know, reuse, reduce, recycle your papers if you need to. You should because you're helping the earth be better. When I was going through all my papers last night and a little bit this morning, I did not know how many papers I had. Like I've had stuff in my drawers for the past two years that I should have thrown away that was not needed, like old receipts, um, old, you know, bank statements that I don't really need anymore. Um, you know, old just like files and stuff like that. And it was just, it was messy. But like the thing is, I don't know what it is, but for some reason when you're ever like moving or like cleaning or whatever it might be, you don't realize how much stuff you have until you start doing that stuff. And I'm like, am I a hoarder? Do I have too much stuff? Do I need to clean out my closets a lot more? The answer to that question is yes, I should be cleaning out my closets a lot more. But you know, I am what you call lazy, but I also have ADHD and I hyperfixate on one thing and one thing and that's it. So maybe this upcoming week I'll spend my time just cleaning out my closets, my clothes, um, everything. That way I feel a bit more at peace and then for the next six months I will feel more content about my life, which is very, very important. So with all that being said, basically I have to do a lot of cleaning, like my clothes, old receipts, old, you know, school related stuff that I don't need anymore because I am out of school. I have graduated and school is not on my mind. So I definitely need to go through all the closets, my apartment, my parents' house, and just throw it away. Because if I think about it, I'm gonna overthink and then I'm gonna like saying, I might need that eventually at one point, one of these days. But in reality, I really don't need half of the stuff that I have now. So it's good to like get rid of old stuff, clean out some stuff and move on. This is the summer of moving on and not overthinking. At least for me, it is. So I went by the bank and it said on a sign that we're no longer accepting any more items and we are closed. And I was like, okay, that's totally fine. It's like 11.30, I still have more time to go and get some more recycling things to, you know, take out. And then I realized that there's a recycling dumpster near my parents' house at a school that I went to. And I'm like, I've been here my entire life. How did I not know this was already here? So I was like, let me just go ahead and dump it over here. That way it's more convenient. And then my parents' house is literally right down the street. A win-win scenario. They don't even know I'm coming at all, but that's fine. I show up unannounced anyway. <laughs> I really do. Sometimes I just drive to my parents' house saying, I'm here, hello. Um, but no, um, I'm just gonna go and drop all the stuff off and then just like walk inside because I am what you call tired of the team. Hey everyone, it's editing Steven here again. I wanted to come on to the end-ish of the vlog to kind of explain what I'm doing and what I'm making because most of y'all don't really know what half of the stuff that I'm doing most of the time in these videos. But I thought I'd do a little voiceover at my parents' house since I'm already here, editing this vlog and a few extra vlogs that are coming up soon. But right now I am currently making vegan tofu nuggets. And I've talked about this on my stream quite frequently for the past couple of days and I'm literally obsessed with this like recipe right now because one, I loved chicken nuggets as a kid and I ate them pretty much every single day. But now as a grown adult, I'm taking care of my health better, trying to learn new recipes and this is what I came up with and I found it on a website and I will link it down below in the description. In case you ever want to try it for yourself, it's the most easiest thing. It doesn't require much ingredients, you know, oat flour, pancino breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and also um, vegetable oil. It's all I literally used in this entire recipe. And it was so easy and so good. I made, I don't know how much I made, but it said I think four servings. So about like, I don't know, not really 50 nuggets, more so like I would say about 30, 35 nuggets because I made the balls like 
much bigger than it was not going to be. I could have made them smaller and then I would have a lot more. But me being me, I'm like, give me the most that I can get. And it was quite worth it. Oh, and the tofu that I used was firm tofu and it was organic firm tofu that my mom had bought. And I was like, I'll use this, seems perfect enough. And I'm not joking, when I came over to my parents' house, literally right after this clip of dumping my recycling in the recycling bin, um, I wasn't planning on cooking, but my mom was like, did you come here to cook? I'm like, no, but I might as well do it anyway. So I'm like, okay. It gives me something to put in the vlog because literally I didn't do anything else in this vlog segment that was worth watching, at least for me. And I thought cooking content is like my thing. I do it on stream. I do it every day at my own home, my parents' home. I might as well include it more into the vlogs. And I wanna do like a, a standalone cooking video, which will be really, really fun to do. So if you have any ideas, let me know. If you have um, any recipes that you want me to try and make, I don't know. I'm just, I really, 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 really love food. And I loved these tofu nuggets so much that I might make them again because they were the absolute best thing in the world. And I ate them with barbecue sauce. I don't know. I just don't know. Vegan tofu nuggets are literally top tier quality. I think everyone should try tofu. Everyone should make this recipe. It takes like 30 minutes to like, from prepping to cooking, so simple, so easy, 10 out of 10, 100% recommend, you should try it, you will not be disappointed. And that's all I gotta say about that.